here is a new subject that is PPS uh, which is known for programming for problem solving and the unit one we have introduction to programming and this the first concept is compilers so compilers is a software which can be used to convert any high level programming language into machine level language so it is compiler is a software now the com computer can understand only the machine level language but the source code nothing but the high level programming language which we are giving in the form of source code so that we give it to the computer and the computer process it and it also stores the given information and the data and it gives to the user in the machine level language so this machine level language nothing but the machine code so the computer can understand only machine level language and the high level programming language which is written by the user so the example for the high level programming language nothing but the examples are c c++ java and python etc so any programming language we can take it as the high level programming language and this is also called as the source code and the machine code which is which can be understand by the computer which is the machine level language so this computer converts the high level programming language to the machine level language so for that we use the compilers so compiler is a software which can be used to convert the any high level programming language into machine level language and then computer is an electronic device which can understand machine level language which is the low level language so this machine level language we can also call it as the low level language and the source code is the high level programming language then the binary language so binary language is an example of machine level language so binary language nothing but we know this is a language which contains the set of zero sign ones so the combination of zero sign ones is known as the binary language so this is the best example for the machine level language it means the computer can understand only the zero sign one the set of zero sign ones which is known as the binary language so the computer not, uh, this compiler converts the high level programming language uh, which is the user understandable language it converts to the machine level language nothing but it converts to the zero sign ones that can be understand by the computer so in this binary language the zero indicates false nothing but uh, off and the one indicates true which is on so this is about the compilers and the binary language then the software software uh, it is a logical component of computer system it is a collection of programs where program is a collection of instructions and where instructions are given by the user so the software software the uh, collection of programs uh, which gives the software but program is a collection of instructions and these instructions are given by the user to the computer so we give the instructions to the computer so such collection of instructions is known as program and uh, the collection of programs is nothing but the software and then collection of software constitutes the operating system so for example if you see the program 1 program 2 program 3 and up to n programs so in each program we have the set of instructions for example if you see uh, instruction 1 instruction 2 instruction 3 and up to n instructions we can write in a single program so this collection of instructions which is forming a program nothing but a collection of instructions or the set of instructions is nothing but a program and in the same in the program 2 also we write some set of instructions and it can be up to n similarly for the uh, program 3 and up till uh, till program n we can write the set of instructions now these program 1 program 2 and program 3 and up to n programs these collection of programs which constitutes a software so this is about the program instructions and the software uh, for example if we take one android software so in this android software so android is a software 
we know that software is a collection of programs for example if you take message contacts gallery and facebook as the programs so collection of all these e constitutes a android software so in this message contacts uh, gallery and facebook we have some functions in it for example if we see in messages we have the creating a message inbox outbox send box and etc so all these are the instructions which are all these are the functions or the instructions which are forming a message nothing but a which is forming a program and similarly in contacts we have the save option copy delete and etc in the gallery we have audio video and images etc and in the facebook login register status post and etc so all these are the instructions which are forming one uh, application or uh, program so that is a messages contacts gallery facebook and etc now collection of all these constitutes a android software so this is uh, about the instruction program and the software Let's see the flowchart here of the software. So software is divided into two components. One is a system software and one is application software. So system software nothing but the operating system. So we have the different operating systems like uh, Windows, Linux, Unix, Android and iOS and etc. So these all are the examples of the operating system which comes under the category of software, system software then under the application software we have like c c plus plus java python ms office media player and etc so all these comes under the application software so the uh, system software and application software are the two types of the software so finally we have this uh, collection of instructions which forms a programs and then collection of these programs which constitutes a software then the collection of software which forms a operating system so this is all about the compilers thank you